Go on, Rebecca. Oh, I don't know what to say. It's been such a build-up. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to tonight's call. Um, we're really excited to do tonight's call. I mean, we love you know speaking to you each week, but this week in particular, because October's just blown us away. Quite frankly, you guys have all blown us away. It's been incredible. Um, and so this evening's call is it's more about you guys and what you're all achieving. We just want to spend some time celebrating that. Um, so that's tonight. We're yeah. very excited to have you all on. And we wanted to also, for, for you know, there's quite a few people that have ranked, but there's even more so that haven't ranked as well. Mm -hmm. But we want to make it clear that just because you haven't ranked last month doesn't mean that you won't ever and that you're not doing well. It just means that some people take it longer or it means your turn's next time. So mm -hmm. please look at it as a real positive that people are ranking that this works. That this is an amazing opportunity and that if other people can do it, you can do it as well. Absolutely. And it's not just the ranking we want to celebrate either. You know, the volume's going up significantly each month as well, which means everyone's sharing the oils. So, you know, celebrate the little things as well. It's not just about ranking. Um, but also maintaining ranks is also huge as well. I think that's worth mentioning. So when yep. you hit a rank, and if you can maintain it, and often you do drop a rank, but if you know, want to celebrate maintaining it as well, because that takes a lot. Yeah, and some of the, little, the, the most important successes we can't celebrate, like having, yeah. sharing an oil experience with somebody and, or sharing the oils with somebody, and it really helps them in their family. Those are the most amazing yeah. um, success stories that, that we can all have. And, yeah, or bringing uh, someone into the business, you know, a business success finding someone else to come do the business with you as well. That's incredible too. So I think we switched roles there, didn't we? I think we did. Yeah, I wow. Think. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll start. Um, just a couple of announcements. Don't forget UK Convention, if you haven't signed up. Only 2,900 tickets left. <laughs> Get in there quick. <laughs> um, again, all our events are on the Silver Blossom Facebook page. If you're not sure where that is, talk to you upline or send us a message. And can I just mention, I put on there today about the continued education class that we're doing on Wednesday. So we're doing these every single month now. I, I know I've mentioned before, but I'll just remind you all that we're doing once a month. They're different to the continued education classes that are running on a Monday night in that they, they are designed for anybody to come to who's been to an intro class before. So they are for customers as well as for you guys as well who are building the business. Um, but they're more designed as well so that you guys can take the materials, so take the PowerPoint that we use and then duplicate it if you would like to. So we're kind of aiming these to be um, easy to kind of copy if you like. So you can see us do it and then take it yourself and redo it if you would like to. So this Wednesday's one is on emotions. So it's quite a hot topic with the oils, um, very popular. So it's a good one to come and watch and then recreate if you'd like to. Mm -hmm. um, also November promotions, we're gonna go over in a second just to reiterate it, mm -hmm. not as good as last <laughs> month's, very disappointing. Like it's good. Um, but hey, we've got, we've got we've, something we've got to work a, with. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the Christmas gifts. So there's some great Christmas gifts out there. So the whale diffuser, I think, the kids went on sale tonight at seven. It's mm. probably out of stock already, but have mm. a look. Uh, if you can get some, get some. Can we get one? No, we haven't oh. actually. Oh, you have to get one in a minute. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave the call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so just, just, just to, in case some of you don't understand what the promotions are, the on guard, five mil on guard, is the if you spend over 125 PV on LRP, that's what you'll get for free. That's the free gift this this month. Um, the promotion this month is that if somebody enrolls with a 100 PV order, like a home like a physician kit or a home essentials kit, or 100 PV order or more, they will and then they do an order the next month of 100 PV on LRP, they will receive 50 points. And whoever signed them up will receive 50 points as well. So and 50 points is quite good. You get you can get a few, quite a few oils with that, or one or two oils with that, I suppose, mm -hmm. depending on which ones you get. Um, so it's quite a good offer. Um, but uh, there wasn't a bunch, actually. So it's really good for, for this, these types of offers. What's really good is to focus some time in your class, definitely spending some more time on the lifelong vitality, which is what we're kind of encouraging more anyways, because, you know, calling it a wellness class, so helping people get back into health. 
the lifelong vitality is a key part of this. And so how you can sell that to people is it's the one product doTERRA do that has a 30 day money back guarantee, which they will absolutely honor. So even if someone's had every single pill in that lifelong vitality pack and they don't feel like they've had any difference at all, they can call customer services and get their money back. Um, but with this, you can say to them, you know, they can, they can purchase their oils perhaps at your class and then say, you know, next month on your LRP order, you can buy the lifelong vitality pack and they'll get 50 points back. So that's, you know, worth about kind of 40 pounds and the lifelong vitality pack is 72 pounds. So getting more than half their money back from the lifelong vitality pack and then they could get all their money back anyway if it doesn't work. So it's kind of a no brainer situation if you sell it right. So it's a good way. And in December, they're going to want three lifelong vitality packs because they need to get yeah, 200 PV to get the free frankincense. That's a, that's a good deal. So, um, and that's not a definite. We haven't been told that, but for the last three years running, no, frankincense has been a free gift for at Christmas when people spend over 200 PV. Always the very best month of the year. November mm -hmm. and December generally are the very best months of the year. Although I do feel o like October, October this it. year it's, is probably going to beat November. I think it is. And then Definitely. December should be October as well. So if any of you are worried about your volume going down slightly, don't worry. Um, oh, we just we nearly got nearly missed it. So we just wanted to also say that because it was a smashing month for doTERRA, their best ever month by a mile, um, they're, they're running behind in the warehouse. So bear with them. Yeah. They are about a week behind in terms of the orders. Okay, so they are really, really running to catch up. As of January next year, then the whole system will be better. Um, but for just bear with them for November and December while they, they work through it. Tell your customers that it's going to be about a week at the moment. But that's generally not, not doTERRA's um, postage and packaging policy. It's generally, we usually get it the next day. But well, three days. I normally tell people. But they usually do get it in two, don't they? Yeah, yeah they at do. At least. So just make sure that people are aware of that so you can meet their expectations. Mm -hmm. Um, so now we want to go into the recognition part. So I hope you're all watching and listening. Sparkly top on. And some of you are here. Um, so we want to go over the top enrollers for this mm. month, the last month. So we'd like to congratulate Charlie Green and Sue Arfin for um, enrolling eight people. Um, and Catherine Cook, sorry, eight as well. Well done, Catherine. Um, we'd also like to congratulate Peter Rear for 10. Uh, Peter's very new, and so well done for 10, Peter. Um, Adele, Adele is generally always, always on here. On there. <laughs> so well, although she has had a three-month break. Um, she's allowed that. So not from doTERRA, I think from being on enrollers. Yeah. But um, she's got 11. Well she's done, back. Adele, she's back. And Saskia, um, over in Germany, uh, got 12. So well done, Saskia. Robin, um, our doctor on our team, has 12 as well, Robin. Smashing mm -hmm. it. Um, and Sarah Barber, 13. Well done, Sarah. And Vanessa and Miriam, 16 enrollments each. So Amazing. Really good. Amazing. Great month. Uh, well done, all of you, for enrolling that many people. It's, that's a lot of people to enroll in one month. Um, that is. That's incredible. Well done. And we'd now like to congratulate all of the elites. Okay, so this is the first page. Um, so we've got Sarah Williams, Sam Farmer, Shyla Mystery, Madonna Jones, Claire Boyd, Polly Noonan, Kate Hamilton, Renata. Rentia. Rentia, sorry. My, my bad. I meant that. Rentia, Nicola, Heidi, Holly, Deborah, Anna, Susie, Heather, Rowena, Moira, Zinta, Julie, Andrea, Natalie, and Chris. Congratulations, Amazing. everyone. It took me a long time to write it out. <laughs> so, in trying to the name. It's incredible. And if you think, how many elites do you need for Presidential Diamond? 54. 54. So, 54 elites you need to get to Presidential Diamond. So, to the top rank in doTERRA, 54 elites. And look at this. I mean, that was... In the right place. Obviously. In the right places. So obviously, we haven't gotten quite... But, the, but this is brilliant. You can see just how many elites have come in one month. That's incredible. Elite is the building block, as we mentioned, of the whole business. often of the whole business. So once you get to elite, teach others to do it. You can go all the way, just developing a few leadership strategies on the way. We now like to recognise all of the premiers. So 
we'd like to say well done to Alice, to Laura, to Jasmine, to Natalie, to Miriam, who was a top enroller as well, to Claire, to Ruth, to Suzanne, to Anne, to Saskia, who was also a top enroller as well, to Peter, who was in top enroller, mm -hmm. and to Tina. So you can see here that if you start enrolling people, you can start taking, you know, ranking into your own hands, which is what a lot of these guys have been doing. Mm -hmm. So well done, guys, for hitting Premier. That's when you first start really trying to have to create a structure and start building a strategy uh, to go higher in doTERRA. Mm -hmm. So well done, really good job. Brilliant. Uh, we now like to congratulate our four silvers. So well mm -hmm. done to Catherine and Jonathan Cook. Well done to Neil Young, um, who's only been in the business. This is his third month at the end of October. And well done to Fiona. Um, and well done to Janine for all of you hitting Ooh. silver. Really great job, guys. The clap at these is yeah, amazing. <laughs> um, and now to our gold. So our three wonderful golds. We've got Sarah. Woo! Um, I don't think Sarah's had a new baby. No. I was asking. No, okay. she, Sarah hasn't had a baby. Have, this is just a picture of Sarah a with a baby. This is a great picture I thought I'd put on here with Sarah. <laughs> Maybe it's a sign. <laughs> um, and Katie for getting hey. gold. And then Robin you as also well. have a child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a, you know. And Robin, who does have children. <laughs> it's not have children in the photo, but they're good pictures. They're good pictures. <laughs> so, um, well done, guys, for hitting gold. Amazing. Um, and going amazing. from silver to gold can be a bit tricky. Um, we found that, that a lot of people find that the trickiest um, rank to move up to. So mm. well done guys for getting to gold. And gold's kind of where you start making some good money as well. So you can start making quite a big difference in your income, which is always nice. Yep. And now to our diamond, Vanessa. Well done, Vanessa. Um, I don't really do know. Dance. Do a dance. <laughs> well, got to do something. Vanessa's going to love this. <laughs> yeah. <that we're>, um, <laughs> Vanessa uh, loves recognition, <laughs> loves it. She'll tell you in a second. <laughs> no, well done, Vanessa. Incredible. And that's a lovely Scarlett. He's been on her the whole, with her the whole journey. Um, yeah. So that's a beautiful picture. So Scarlett, if you're listening yeah. and if you see this video, <laughs> She'll be in well bed. done, Scarlett, yeah. for getting to Diamond. You've done great. Well done. Well done for helping your mum through it. <laughs> brilliant. Down to yeah. you, Scarlett. Um, and then our new Woo! blue diamond. Woo! Emily and Please Tim Mascarenas <laughs> and Mickey and Ziggy and Dot yeah and Frankie oh Frankie yeah don't forget oh, Frankie Frankie I apologise you're the oldest me um, <laughs> so we just want to congratulate um, the Mascarenas family for hitting Blue Diamond um, and they've done it Blue in Two I believe Blue is, in Two I believe it's Blue in Two term. yeah and mate, it's incredible, absolutely incredible what these guys have achieved. You're inspiring to everyone. Yeah. Yeah, we're very excited. We learn a lot from you guys. So um, we just want to congratulate you all. Mm -hmm. um, and then just the total. So uh, there were 694 new enrolments that you all did last month, which is up 200 from the previous month. We had 22 new elites, 12 new premiers, four new silvers, three new golds. Mm -hmm. What just happened? I think it went back, okay. yeah. Three new golds, one new diamond, and one new blue diamond. And we don't want this to be celebrating our success because this is our team. This is all we can see. <laughs> so this is what we want to celebrate. This isn't about us at all. We want you guys to know that you're all achieving amazing, magnificent things with the doTERRA business. And those of you that haven't ranked here, you guys can achieve this as well. Um, yeah. Absolutely. however you want to so we now have um mm -hmm. a few tips from a couple of the guys that have ranked here that they're going to share with you their tips so yeah. over to you bex cool thank you so we'll stop sharing um yeah so well done everybody it's incredible so we wanted to invite um some of you new people that have ranked to the different ranks um, to share some of your tips with us because everyone does this slightly different you know once you've learned the basics of the business there's the skeleton kind of main components of this business but then you can kind of adapt it to your style so i think it's it's lovely to hear how different people do it because we all kind of resonate with different people's styles don't we so first up i think we have sarah williams on the call 
Um, I had a look earlier and she wasn't on then, but I'm just looking through. So Sarah, if you are on the call, would you mind unmuting yourself? Um, I'm just looking through just in case you don't have to unmute yourself. Is she there? You see, so um, one of Tonya's and Sophie's lovely builders. Sarah Williams, are you there? Did you see her? Not sure. Um, Maybe she can jump on. In, in yeah, a we can skip to the next person. I don't know if Sarah is. She said she might not be able to come on, so that's why. Okay, so Sarah Williams just recently made a leak. I had a lovely chat with her today, and she was telling me some lovely things, and I can fill you in at the end if um, she doesn't manage to come on, which is fine. So I just saw we do have our Dr. Robin in the house. Um, so I'd like to invite Dr. Robin to come on. <laughs> Um, who I think, hey, here she is, here she is. So, um, just want to say, so Dr. Robin, <laughs> Dr. Robin, I'll call you. Well, she doesn't well. go by Dr. Robin, right? She's the essential GP. She's the essential She's GP. The essential, yeah, you, you'll know her as the essential GP. <laughs> um, but done an amazing job, Robin. So, you've just hit gold, which is incredible. And so, we just wanted to hear a little bit of your tips, really, on this. Well, I first want to emphasize that. I made a big jump in one month, but I've been doing this for a while. So it's been kind of a slow burn behind the scenes. It's not like I just signed up with a kit in August and suddenly smashed it. I've been plodding along for a while now. Um, and I think, first of all, I went to the US convention in early September. I think that made a big difference to me. I think I can't put my finger on why. I think partly my confidence in kind of the business and doTERRA in general went up. I think I'm such a skeptic at heart and the scientist in me was always a bit worried that like maybe it's all just some sort of crazy scam. Um, and I went to convention was like, okay, it's not really. <laughs> and I, I, I did a video afterwards. If anyone wants to go on my Facebook page, I did a video post convention of kind of my musings and thoughts. And it was all very much what I came home feeling. Um, and I think that translates into your interactions with people and what they pick up on. Um, but also, I had no, I mean, everyone has a warm market, but mine was like an ice cold warm market, right? It's all people who are like, doc, like super mainstream. I had my one alternative friend was Emily Mascarinas. So. <laughs> she was tight. Um, Sorry. Sorry about that woman. <laughs> but I literally think it took like, I took that long for my warm market to sit back and watch what was I doing. And then I think when my energy level changed and I was a lot more confident in it, that was like the final push for people to jump on board. And so I had a lot of enrollments in September and October of people who I think had been sitting back and watching for ages. And then I finally had builders. So I've been doing it on my own. So I got to, I got to the premier part of the month on my own. Um, and then, you know, carried on on my own. And I sort of resigned myself to like, well, you just have to keep going if you don't have builders. Um, and then was lucky to have a couple of people jump on board. And one of my new builders got seven enrollments in her first month. So I, I definitely couldn't have done it completely on my own. Um, and then I think it simply comes down to not quitting. I know you've heard this, you hear this from other people before, like the only way to not succeed in this business is to give up. And I think I just had decided, well, I love doing this. I love the oils. I love sharing it. If I only enroll... If, I, if my total volume is only a thousand every month, so be it forevermore. And I think as long as you just keep going and don't think about the rank too much, that sounds, I sort of stopped caring so much after I hit a lead a couple of times. I was like, oh, well, I'll just carry on and look after people. Then, then I think they pick up on an energy of service rather than a sales thing. Because if you're, if you're content on social media or the way you're reaching out to people is because you want to hit a rank, that's, they're going to read that differently than if, you don't really care about rank and you're just trying to help them then actually bizarrely that can help you. Mm -hmm. anyway. mm -hmm. I think that was true for some of my people who were like allergic to sales, allergic to anything too wacko. <laughs> and so as soon as they felt like I was just trying to love on them, including a lot of my GP friends who are now enrolling, um, as soon as they trusted that I wasn't trying to just, mm -hmm. you know, gimmick them or something. So but definitely not a solo effort at all. So I think it's, mm -hmm. you forget that, you know, upline and downline support is key, including you guys. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Very, very welcome. Brilliant. Excellent tips. Thank you very much, Robin. Thank you, Robin. We're very grateful you're on our team. Very grateful. The essential GP. <laughs> Thanks so much. Okay, so our next guest tonight is Andy. 
Um, so some of you may not know Andy. He joined us um, very recently. Well, if you say Andy Boswell, then mine. Andy mind. Boswell, you've seen his name yeah. flashing lights. Well, lots of you do know Andy because you've come. You know, Andy's been enrolling like a trooper. Um, he's yeah, incredibly inspiring. So he hit gold in a month. Um, so there are there are very different ways of doing this business as well. And Andy's um, he's been involved in network marketing now for over twenty five years. Um, so a lot of us come on into this business not knowing anything about network marketing. I know I was one of those. Um, so Andy has had a lot of experience in network marketing. He knows what he's doing in this area. Um, and so I thought it'd be great for him to share some of his tips with us um, and how there are different ways to build this business as well. So over to Andy Boswell if you are unmuted. He is, um, he, he is also oh, yeah, partners Boswell. with Sue Boswell who's yes, the better yes. half, right Andy? <laughs> yeah we have to mention Sue of course, yes we just wanted to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll okay. have to Sue another time too. Uh, so let's get this right, it's 22 years not 25 years. 22. Oh. Uh, and also you just put me on after somebody that says no i haven't actually smashed it in three months and no i'm not into sales so you've now introduced me this ah, you no, can do exactly. it differently we can do it differently exactly <laughs> at the point but um so yeah well thanks for asking me just to say a few words uh, this evening uh, and um yeah so i said 22 years in um we were with another network marketing company uh, unfortunately for that company, I would say it's failing. It still is. Um, and we decided, uh, we have an income of around about £50,000 per annum from it, even though it was failing. We were still doing, I guess, by a lot of people's standards, as, as fairly well. Um, and we originally looked to join doTERRA, to be honest with you, as a plan B, a backup plan. Um, but the more that we looked at it, to be honest, the more it really did become a plan A. And uh, when we met Nathan and Rebecca, heard their story, um, we were blown away by it. I even videoed them, and <laughs> the story was that good. Uh, and to be honest, that video has helped us recruit more people than any other. And I knew at the time when I recorded it, um, with Lisa Burke, you remember, and I said, that video will help us recruit more people probably than any other video that has been in doTERRA and that's been pretty true um and if you're interested in having a look at it we do have a look at uh, a bit of a recruitment oh no don't tell them that andy <laughs> uh, you followed the video of me the other day so they can, <laughs> they can, they can watch it at globallifestylesgroup.com if they want to but it's a eight minute video oh, shit. That video. Um, my only request is you don't put that video on your facebook feeds please Oh, it's been all over mine. It's been oh, all over mine. <laughs> as long as it doesn't go on your Facebook feed, we know that you don't like being too sort of out there. So I'm, <laughs> um, I mean, Nathan actually said uh, to me as well the first time he met us. He said, um, "He said, Andy, he said we have never met anyone like you before." And I wasn't quite sure how to take that. I, <laughs> um, I think it was positive. A few people in my team have actually said since, "Oh well, yeah, we know, it. yeah, we've known you for twenty years." And, and we can have a where he's come from. And um, he did explain to me that, he's, that um, it's mainly been a lot of ladies predominantly who just love sharing the oils that built the business. And um, where our previous experience, I guess, with our other company, it wasn't product led. We gave, used to give people a catalogue, they bought from it, hopefully, uh, and we were promoting the income opportunity rather than the product. So it's very, very different. From where we come from to what it's like here um so anyway we decided to walk away from that 50 grand a year income and throw ourselves into doTERRA full-time and we wouldn't recommend that for most people's circumstances by the way but for us it certainly was the right thing to do uh, and in the first month with doTERRA we hit gold uh, with a uh, over 18,000 pv turnover we've maintained that ever since with the second month being over 25 uh, thousand PV and last month uh, we were really pleased to have over 37,000 PV and we couldn't believe the success in people in uh, what people had already had in doTERRA and we love the fact that it's a product led company that's very different for us but it, it's very strong because of that as well uh, and we all we you know the team will sampling leading with the product as well but However, Rebecca, as she spoke to me today, did want me to talk to you a little bit about 
uh, not forgetting those who maybe would be interested in the business side of our business, yeah, business side of what we do as well. You know, we brought quite a few of our leaders over to doTERRA from our previous company. Plus, we had good friends from who were in our previous company, but outside of our own team. People like Neil Young, who just saw Go Silver, Peter Rea, uh, who's doing great at Premier, and Craig Skellen, who's you know uh, been up to elite and really moving on with this business. Just to name, but a few leaders who built successful teams in our previous network. But, um, but you'll no doubt have your contacts in your circle of influence. It doesn't matter that we just come across from a network, you're gonna have a circle of influence that you can reach out to as well who will be interested in earning extra income. Now, Zig Ziglar, I don't know if any of you have heard of Zig Ziglar, He's, he once said, money may not be everything, but for most people it's up there with oxygen. And I would say he's probably right, you know, 85% of people out there, and probably another 10 or 15%, maybe fibbing as well, are in need of an extra income. Interest rates are just going up, as we know, uh, and doTERRA is by far the best vehicle that we have ever seen to help people change their lives. And we simply shared with people our story of how they'd affected us, or the odds would affected us, and said we were looking to find people who were after earning an extra few hundred pounds each month, or those who wanted a life-changing income. Uh, and sometimes we come across people who think it's a bit hocus-pocus, Mm -hmm. sure some of you think you know come across people thinking it's like that or maybe it's i love that one or it's the placebo effect. if you think it's doing you good it must be doing you good i've come across a few of those mm -hmm. uh, and a good way to deal with this is using when you're relating with people and this is a technique i learned uh, you know in, a, in the previous network is to use what they call the feel felt found technique and I don't know if you guys have used that here, but it's a technique that's, as long as it's genuine, as long as it's true, whatever somebody's objection might be, say, look, I know how you feel about that. I used to feel the same way until I found. And, and in our case, it would be something like, I know how you feel about that. I used to feel the, the same way. I thought it was about just smelly stuff for ladies until I found that it were miracles for Sue's acid reflux issues and saved us a fortune in medications each year, and it even stopped me snoring. So how could that be the placebo effect if I'm asleep? <laughs> and, um, now, we also, as um, <laughs> this was done last week a lot, we also shared some of the stats, 0 to 2 billion turnover in dollars in nine years. The biggest MLM in the USA, bigger than Avon, Herbalife, uh, Avon, all the big companies that people have heard of grew faster than it, uh, Apple did in its first decade. We got that one from Northampton. And, and some of those might bore you, but it amazes people looking for an opportunity and it just adds and gives it validity. So, you know, you can reach out by social media as well. I mean, uh, I did to people when we started to let people know what we were doing. Um, I mean, when we made that initial contact and got interest, of course, we'd be on the phone to them. But we had our hands involved in bringing in 20 plus people in the first month doing it with people that we knew. But I've also around 30 people approached me this week from free little adverts that I've placed online as well. So there are other ways that you can reach out. Uh, you They're know, not your warm contacts, are they, Andy? No, no, these are people that we just got. You know, we uh, certainly, you know, we did get a lot of people in from warm contacts. Um, because I'm not one of these people. One of the things that really annoys me though is when people say, have you got many friends on Facebook? They said, I've had a good clear out. I've got rid of them. Like, no, don't do that. You know, some of these people, 85% of them need extra income. So, you know, if you make contact with people, keep them on your friends list. But yeah, the 30 people this week has just been free little adverts we placed online as well. You know, I, as Nathan and Rebecca know, I've been on a journey over the last three months. I, I guess Nathan, as Nathan would say, I, I don't take any responsibility for this particular phrasing. It would be Nathan. I'm never going to be a frilly oil type. Okay. Um, so don't blame me if you don't like that description. Nathan gave me that. <laughs> I, I, I sat in the first training in London that we had um, a couple of months ago wearing a jacket and a tie, drinking a Diet Coke. And I looked around and no one else was drinking Diet Coke, only water. Uh, and I might be paranoid about this, but I'm sure there's a hundred eyes upon me and I can mentally read they were thinking, do you know what aspartame does to you? <laughs> now, now, by the time I went to Northampton, I ditched the jacket and the tie. I was even getting into the culture. I was drinking water. <laughs> um, 
It's good. Uh, I did find the meditation part of Nathan those interesting. Uh, and I must say, it's not what we're used to. Um, but of course, most in doTERRA, of course, want to talk about the product and, and not the business. I get that. You know, that's, you know, that's, that's the way it's been built. Uh, and so I totally respect that. But the business side is so good, it's bound to attract people like ourselves mm -hmm. in the future, probably more so, who are interested in the business opportunity. So what I'm just saying to everybody is don't close your minds to that. Of course, the product to be with the product is the way to do it. But, you know, I'm sure you, um, you know, some of you guys wouldn't mind sponsoring us in, in the first month. So there is a big side and it's changing, I guess. And, you know, Rebecca and Nathan have been brilliant sponsors to us. Just said to us, you know, just be you, come as you are, which I guess we have. So I'm sure there's room for all different types of people in this, in this brilliant company. So that's me done. Thank you so much, Andy. That was brilliant. Can I just ask one last question? Um, cause something that really hit me when you first joined, you told us, and if you don't mind sharing how much, so in the 22 years that you were working in the other network marketing company, what was the most you ever earned in a month? Do you mind sharing that? Yeah, the most we ever, oof, this was back in the early 2000s, I think. We were probably in the company about seven years, something like that. And we are just shy of 8,000 pounds for that month and i know and, and that's been the thing you know and i know it might seem a little vulgar to talk about things such as money but that was an effect with us you know because we saw what you guys had done yeah and we never seen and you know just you know a big, just the amount of respect we have for you because i know you guys have come in with no you know we, we saw people that were, were on fifty thousand pound a month sixty thousand pound a month in our previous network we're just a uk company rather than worldwide so they were doing quite pretty well but they'd all come with previous experiences they'd all been in other networks i had never ever seen anybody go from zero in any other network not genuinely from yeah. zero to twenty thousand a month which i mean you guys have done yeah. in a month or more never ever seen that without people having previous experience as well so yeah. you know we've looked around and you know we to be honest We've only been with one other network. We stayed there for 22 years. Mm -hmm. You can imagine it was a wrench. After 22 years mm -hmm. of your life, and we thought that company was going to take us into retirement until it started, you know, fading and dying, unfortunately. And so to make a decision that we did, we've seen so many people, we've been pitched so many times over the years by other people in other networks, never once flinched or looked away from what we were doing with our other network until we saw this, until we saw what you guys had done. And like I said, we went from being a plan B to a plan A. And as you know, things, circumstances, we were prepared to sort of leave and sell our house if necessary. That's how good this opportunity is. Now, you know our story, our, our circumstances. We did go leave the company. We were looking at thinking, well, we'll free up some equity so we could live you know our circumstances changing so we didn't have to do that now because one of our income coming in plus we we had a, a bit of good fortune as well which means we didn't have to move but that is how good this opportunity is and i think people need to understand out there that 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 there is a, a lot of people that will be looking at something as fantastic as this so you know share it with everybody. thank you so much thank andy, andy. That, that's brilliant i think um, you know, Andy's hit a really good point there. We often do talk about the oils, don't we, in this business? And um, and they are, they're absolutely wonderful. But the business opportunity is incredible. And Andy really reminded me of that when he was so shocked about how much you could actually earn in doTERRA. You know, and if you look at other compensation plans, we haven't found another one that matches doTERRA's. And the fact, like he said, anyone can come in without any network marketing experience. And because the product is so good and the compensation plan is designed to work and to support us, then we can all make it to whatever point we want to. And I think that's the key point then. Very inspiring. So thank you so much, Andy. That was brilliant. And Andy, we love having you on our team. We do. We do. Nathan, Nathan definitely does. <laughs> Bring some balance to the frilly, oily women. You'll change, Andy. You'll change. <laughs> we all do. You go for it. <laughs> um, so now I'd like to um, introduce Vanessa. Um, 
say, Vanessa is somebody that doesn't like recognition very much, <laughs> but we're going to make her take it. <laughs> um, Vanessa is wonderful. She's been with us um, for a couple of years now, and it's just been a wonderful journey to be on with Vanessa. And she has just hit Diamond, and she's got many mm-hmm. things to share. So I just wanted her to share for a couple of minutes. Well, she's going to sing a song, isn't she? <laughs> and a dance, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> no, you hate. I, you know I hate these things. <laughs> well, I love it I so really, much that you hate it. <laughs> yeah, I really hate it. <laughs> I, I might be unusual, but I really hate it. I don't think I'm the only one. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, um, so uh, I said to Rebecca, "What do you want me to talk about?" She said to talk about some of the things, the key things um, that kind of led me to this point of, of diamond. So. I kind of trying to think of some of the significant things because it's not it's not been the fastest journey. They've been faster people, but um, I'm trying to think how long I've done it. So two two and a half years. Yeah. Um, well, you started in September, really, didn't you? So it was two like two years and about. Two. Yeah, so just over two years. Yeah. Um, but it's interesting because I'm looking at I've got a big sheet of paper on my wall. I think I photographed this and sent it to Nathan and Rebecca, where I wrote my goals. And I wrote everything around it. And I must have done about six months ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was like my diamond strategy. And I put all these little ideas on this, on this piece of paper. And it has September 2017 on it. So I'm only one month out, which I think is pretty cool. <laughs> so it does show you that actually, and I'm not a goal setter normally with my, with my team, I have to be honest. But I do set them for myself. Um, and it is important, I think, to kind of have a bit of a goal. Um, and this month, especially, I do think I set an intention. I was like, do you know what? If I can't do it this month when the amazing offer is on, then, <laughs> then I don't know what's going to happen. But you, you know, you don't get to diamond by yourself. So, um, you have to kind of appreciate that at this point, it, it's, it's really about your team. So that was been some of the key things for me is I kind of, um, it felt like a juggle because you kind of waver between at points between finding your own people and supporting your team. So that's always kind of been a little bit of a balance for me because I kind of really like the sampling and I love the teaching the class. And that's probably my, I suppose, my skill. Um, and you have to, at some point when you kind of want to get to the next ranks, you have to appreciate which aren't your skills and which ones you have to develop more. So, um, you know, I love my team, but I probably, because I get so caught up in, in doing what I'm doing and, and focusing on the sampling and trying to help people and blogging and, and doing it that way, that sometimes I forget how much I need to know to my team. So um, some of the key things for me were doing Diamond Club. So I did Diamond Club twice. Um, and I would really recommend that everybody does Diamond Club at some point. Um, and it's just a really great way to kind of get you out and about and meeting your team. Um, so you, you'll get, you, you get travel paper, you get free oils. I don't know if you need to look into it, but it's a really great thing to do. So yeah, look into it. I think, is it silver and above? Nathan, you'll remember. Premier and above. Yeah. Premier and above. So when you get to Premier, the rank of Premier, and you've kind of got a, a slightly bigger team, you get the opportunity to Diamond Club through doTERRA. I won't go through it all, but it's a really great opportunity because basically you get your long distance travel paid, you get free oils to give to everyone, and it's a really great opportunity to kind of network with your team and build relationships. So um, I did that, and, and in, in doing that the first time I hit Diamond, and then I think I went to Platinum the second time. So it really, really, really cemented it and helped it for me. Um, Rank advancement actually really helped as well. We have to give a bit of credit to Nathan, don't we? Because that really helped with kind of, um, you know, cementing relationships in regular conversations with people, spurring everyone on, getting everyone motivated. Um, it was a really significant thing, for kind of helping everybody build relationships. And it kind of got the excitement going for all of us, actually. And I'm looking forward to doing it again. Um, and... Yeah, and then I kind of set some, I did some other things. So this is a while back, but I set, I, I created a WhatsApp group. I created a Facebook group. And that's kind of when I felt like everything got going because it created this momentum of actually everybody helping each other. And it didn't really matter. This is what I kind of love about doTERRA is it doesn't matter what team you're on. Everybody wants to help each other and everybody celebrates everybody else's success. And they want everybody, and they don't care whose team you're on, they want you to do well. 
And you really get that feeling. So when we had this WhatsApp group, you know, people were asking questions and it wasn't the person whose team, you know, on who's helping them. It's everybody supporting everybody um, on classes, on information. And this is what I think doTERRA is about. And I think that's what creates success is that everybody just wants to help each other and wants everybody to do well. And when everybody does well, everybody kind of, you know, rises up and rank advances. So um, those are kind of my key things, I think. Um, finding the balance probably for me has been the key thing um, between going for it and getting all the enrollments, but also making sure you really look after your team and bring everyone together. So when I did that, that's when it really kind of did well. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much, Vanessa. The year's diamond. Yeah. So, um, thank you. Well, I couldn't do without you too either. <laughs> you brilliantly. Um, so just so you guys know, so Vanessa touched on Diamond Club there. We'll go into that in more detail. Um, but yeah, like Vanessa kind of explained, it's something that doTERRA put on to help again bring people together who want to really rank advance. And it's another support network and kind of an incentive program. It's an intense kind of three month period where you're really um, incentivized to kind of go for it and to help your team more as well. Um, and then the Rank Advancement Club that Vanessa mentioned is something that Nathan came up with, which is amazing. And we're going to do that again next year. So watch this space. That's kind of our own little mini diamond club done a bit differently. But again, bringing the team together and it's better, and it's better we think. Better. We think. I did tell Dota. I did <laughs> Oh, you did tell Dota. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Excellent. So anyway, thanks so much, Vanessa, for those tips. Brilliant. So last but certainly not least, um, our lovely Emily and Tim Mascarenas. Now they're definitely going to do a song. Blue Diamonds! Woo! <laughs> come on, come on to the stage. <laughs> Me, these guys are used to the stage. They've both got acting backgrounds. Yeah. So we're expecting a skit I'm hoping to explain a song, your yeah. journey. <laughs> they're incredibly inspiring and Awesome. Come on to our call tonight. They're doing their own team calls now. And they, they did it. Come on. And they did it in two years. So they got two the blue years. diamond in two years, which is incredible. Rapid. <laughs> Amazing. So, blue Emily and two. Tim, are you there? Are you hiding? Yeah, no, we're just laughing. <laughs> we're just laughing. We're, we're, we haven't prepared a song. Sorry. Oh, oh. man, just be spontaneous. Improvise. You don't need to prepare, guys. <laughs> You're that good. Santa of the Opera's here. What were you <laughs> I'm sure you did the song this morning. <laughs> Um, oh, well, we're just feeling really grateful and especially grateful of you guys. Um, uh, and, you know, it's, it's not, you can't do this. You can't do doTERRA on your own. You're only as good as your team. Um, and so we are really grateful for the community that we have found ourselves part of can't quite believe it still have to pinch it ourselves really um because it's just so lovely um just to think two years ago if we knew what we were going to be part of it's um we're just so happy that we actually decided to go for it um because you know who knew who knew that we would find ourselves here and it's the same for everybody so um yeah it's amazing that you are here um so uh, Nathan asked us for some tips, yeah, some, some, some tips to say. So I said to Emily, let's just, um, let's just like have 20 quick tips that we can come up with, like bullet point tips. And so she wrote 20 and I wrote 20. Um, <laughs> and, so, and they're all different. No, they're, we're just about to read all Emily's and not mine, because none of mine made it in. Um, <laughs> so good. Um, uh, which is kind of one of my tips, actually, which is just, you know, suggest something and then just to go with the, go with Emily. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Emily, brilliant. But you've you got to speak for the men on here as well, Tim, because there are lots of men on our team yeah. now, so you have got to show men that they yeah, get right. there. I've not. got a couple in there. I've got just a listen, couple. Listen to your wife. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, me. <laughs> um, so anyway, that was my first point. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, find your tribe and love them hard um, because these are your people um, and the people who have joined because of you um, and they've stuck by you so you need to look after them um, and we are, are, are their teachers but also they are our teachers massively um, and you, as I said you can't do it on your own you really can't with doTERRA um, they are everything that you are and you are everything that they are. So find your tribe and love them hard. Yeah, that's our last, first point. That second point is trust yourself and follow your instincts. 
you know, a lot of people might be quite negative about what you're trying to do, but some people are drawn to the oils, drawn to the business. They have a draw, so follow your instincts with that. And, you know, learn about the company. If you're not sure, uh, research and find your own passion for it and your own trust for it. Because once you start to do that, it's very easy for the, you to then share it. So find your own passion and trust within the company. When I started, I had my own doubts for sure, especially when I started to share the oils and came up against a little bit of negativity that I wasn't expecting. So I went away, I did my, my research and it just made me come out much stronger actually. It was a good thing. So do that research um, because there's nothing to hide, only amazing. <laughs> um, Number three. Three. <laughs> so there's only 50, don't worry. <laughs> on. Focus on the positive, not the negative. Um, embrace it um, because there is a positive to be found in everything. Um, and don't waste your time focusing on, you know, what holds you back. Um, think about the positive and move on, move on. Number four. <laughs> Um, ah, hear your own excuses okay um, and then work out how to overcome them and we all have our own excuses we all do um, but being aware of them is the first step to overcoming them so listen because we all make them and if you if you know you're doing it then you can get through them and, and, and work with them to, uh, to overcome them yeah so the sooner you overcome your blocks and your fears the sooner you're going to achieve more um, for me, I suppose my blocks were I wasn't sure um, what, how, what I could contribute to the business. You know, I wasn't sure how that was going to work for me. Um, but I just went for it anyway and just chucked myself in there. And I've realized now that there's lots of things I can contribute. But had I not thrown myself in, in there, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know that. So get through those bar barriers and those blocks because there's so many rewards at the other side. There's so much... Uh, you know, there's so much there to. to that's, get. that's a great well, point, Tim. It's not. It's not just for ladies. This business is it. It's no. Well, well, some men lead it. There's some men doing it on their own. Sadly. But if you are joining on with a partner that's already kind of established in the business, then it can definitely feel like, well, where's my place? I totally hear that. Yeah. And yeah. absolutely, Tim, that's a brilliant point. Mm. And you bring so much to the business and we come from different places and we all have our own different skill set. Mm -hmm. So Tim brings a lot to this business that I don't have. Um, and, you know, I have things that he doesn't have. So, you know, um, mm -hmm. find what you're good at and, and let that flow. Mm -hmm. um, so um, feel the fear and do it anyway. I mean, that's one of the first things I learned with doTERRA and it's so true. Just do it. Um, don't be scared. Um, somebody posted something on our tribe the other day about how fear and excitement come from the same place. So try and look at your fear as excitement, okay? Uh, um, for me, when I started, I remember the first time I was going to do like um, a team call and I had to screen share and I was petrified <laughs> because I am not good when it comes to computers. I remember sitting there with Nathan having a wobble because I couldn't do a PowerPoint. <laughs> I'm still not great. But I just threw myself in. I was like, well, I'll just try and see what happens. And it's never as bad as you think it is. But if you don't throw yourself in, you're never going to achieve. And, that, and that's really when the magic happens. So it's such a good point. Feel the fear and jump in. Just do it. Yeah. And just believe in what you're doing. Believe in what you're sharing. Um, then others will believe what you're sharing too. I mean, what Andy was speaking about earlier, about the company and the growth and all that, you know, once you start believing in all of that, you know, this is going to benefit you and help you. And, and, and so believe in what you do, very important. Mm. And in what you're creating and sharing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, be relentless. This is a tip from me. Go the extra mile. Um, I love that saying that an entrepreneur will spend a few years doing what most people won't so they can spend the rest of their life doing what other people can't. And it's so true. I mean, with doTERRA, you can do this business to whatever level you want it to be for you and whatever you want to achieve. But if you want to go for it and you want to get to the high ranks quickly or, you know, like what we've found ourselves, you need to go for it. And I think that... Um, most people would not do what we've done and, and, and not put themselves in some of, it, some of uh, the positions.
situations that we've put ourselves in and, and it has been hard same with you know Nathan and Beck same with Vanessa it's not easy it's been an intense two years but when we look at what we've achieved it actually I think should have been harder um but yeah be relentless go for it do it it's like what um and um whatever degree you're doing the, the business I think Justin Harrison yes. said this at the convention. He's for those who don't know, he's like the number one distributor. So he's he's the first the first wellness advocate in DoTerra, and he said, you know, you can do the business uh, full time, you can do it part time, but you can't do it sometimes. And that's so true. I think if you just drop off and don't do it for three or four months, it's so hard to get that momentum back with the business, and people aren't going with you on it. So. By all means, take the time, but don't just drop off from it and then try and knit back in months later because you'll lose momentum. Mm. Um, push through your hurdles. Ride the wave. These ups will happen and these downs will happen. Um, know they will. Almost expect them. They will make you stronger. We need them to happen. Um, when these obstacles happen, it's sometimes because we need to overcome them to reach the next level of our journey um, within our business. So if you overcome them, then you'll move forwards and you'll rise up each time. So just work through the ups and the downs. Um, I never thought I'd say this next point, actually, if you asked me when I first started, which is embrace the personal development. <laughs> Bex, <laughs> Emily, <laughs> I'm in shock. <laughs> yeah, and uh, because when I started, I, and, um, you know, I want to be totally honest here, I was a bit like, oh, I don't really like those books. <laughs> uh, I don't need them. I'm quite a positive person. But... I realized quite quickly, it's not just about me and, and what I need, it's about what our team need. And so sometimes we need to do things, even if it's not directly to benefit us, it's to, to, to benefit everybody in our team because we all have our own different needs. And personal development really helps a lot of people. So whatever it takes, whatever you need, great books and podcasts and find somebody that inspires you if you find somebody that inspires you um it's a great saying by Ange Peters I love her it's often because that person is in you already so you know let them help it uh, let them help you to bring out your inner voice um do uh, this is your point okay okay thank you <laughs> I'll be quick so do what's best for others uh don't necessarily uh, do what's best for you I think if you have that uh, that in your head, that will actually be the best thing for you anyway. So always do what's best for, for them, not for you. And don't compare yourself to other people. Uh, um, you know, obviously take bits that you like and bring them into your own into your own business, but don't try and be like somebody else. Find your own place to be and sit in the business. Uh, and that'll make you stronger, uh, stronger as a person. Mm. Um, don't expect anything, okay? We do have an amazing team. We get so much support as a team. We know this. So Terra is an amazing organization, but we are so lucky for what we have within our team. Um, but, you know, in terms of volume or builders, you are the person who is going to make your business a success. Nobody else. It's nobody else's responsibility. Ultimately, it's up to you to step up and to get there yourself. Um, think about your time management, finding the balance that you need, that work-life balance. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we're perfect here at all. This is something that, you know, we're constantly working on and trying to be better at, um, you know, and doing our best. But, you know, be intentional with your time because as you grow you will need to implement your own boundaries. Um, I'm not very good at saying no sometimes to things, but you have to, um, uh, to, to, to be working in the best capacity for yourself and for your team. Yeah, keep going, you know, loads of stamina, you know, even when you don't feel like it and you've got to do that class and, and you don't feel like going to it, you know, have it, do, this, do the class with the same energy you did when you did your first class. Uh, also, like, be a sponge, absorb all the information that you can. Uh, there's so you know, much information. There's so much to learn, you know, take it all on. 
learn as much as you can. When I started, I was like a sponge. I couldn't stop. I just wanted to know as much as possible. I wanted to recap. I, I still log on to intro classes and I, I take something from everything. You can learn so much from everybody, um, whether it's the first or the hundredth time to just absorb, absorb, absorb. Um, hold hands with each other um, and rise up together and embrace the doTERRA culture because we are so lucky to be part of this organization um, and, and, and to be part of something that has this sharing culture and this mentality. It makes us so different to other, some other companies. Um, be a team player um, and remember what, you've, what you give out to others will, will, will come back to you. Um, you know, with rank advancements, we're seeing people helping other people that doesn't directly affect them. That certainly happened for us. And we're so grateful. And um, it's such a lovely thing about our business. Um, and it's so attractive and magnetic. Um, so, you know, be those guardians of that culture. Be proud of that. It's an amazing thing. Um, Enjoy the journey. Uh, as they say, happiness is not a destination. It's, it's the whole, it's all of it. It's the whole journey. Um, so enjoy every part of it. Um, and be grateful because having gratitude raises your vibration, raises your vibrational frequency and happy people um, show gratitude. And happy people are attractive and magnetic. So um, be grateful and, and show gratitude. And, um, and be lovely as yeah, well. It's our mantra is just be lovely. Um, Even when you don't feel like it. Yeah, you know? well, whatever happens, um, come from a place of love. And if, if you can just it's be amazing lovely. Amazing how good that, you know. Oh, you'll be doing all right. Yeah, we do fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're doing all right. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. That's the end of our 20 points. Oh, thank you, guys. Amazing. Thank I learned you. stuff in that. I know, I'm sticking notes. We've got to be better. Um, <laughs> but always, it's a growing thing. And that's brilliant. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah. Brilliant tips. Really, really good tips. Thank you for being amazing yeah. uplines and thank our, our downlines for being amazing and the sidelines. Just thank you. It's, yeah. it is. it's a lovely team feel thank you so much thanks everyone for sharing tonight um thank you to so we didn't have sarah to be so we had robin andy make sure i don't forget vanessa and amazon team thank you all for sharing your tips it was wonderful i really hope everyone got lots out of it and you know you may have resonated more with with some one person or you had a bit hopefully from everybody um but as you can see this business works you find your way you can do it your way, but it works. And as Eric Warre, I don't know if you watched any of his stuff, he says network marketing is the best business in the world. And I've come to really see that. It is the best business in the world. It's where you get to reap all the benefits and you get to help others achieve their dreams as well. And then doTERRA, I believe, is the best network marketing company in the world. So we are in <laughs> the best flipping job in the world. If you Google doTERRA, so, I've actually been looking at a few things. They're saying it's the number one opportunity. There we go. Right there we go. So business so. and oils, incredible. So thank you so much for sharing. We're so grateful to be with all of you on this journey as well. And yeah, it's a pleasure. So 